Okay, Breaker Broke 23. Today, we're going to take a look-see at the RockBlock wireless portable record player. This unit uh, will just ride on top of a record, and it, it works. It has a built-in speaker. It's Bluetooth capable. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Stick with me. Okay, so yesterday I was at Wally World checking out to see what new vinyl they brought in, and uh, they do. They've been bringing in uh, fresh vinyl. They don't have a big selection, but uh, anyway, so uh, off in the corner of my eye, uh, I saw this little box here. Actually, they had a whole stack of them of rock blocks. This kind of caught my attention, and I'm like, well, let's check this sucker out. So basically what this is, this is a portable record player and you can put it on top of a record and uh, she'll go round and round and play your album for you. Um, this is Bluetooth capable which is what really caught my attention but it also has a built-in speaker so that's what we're going to use today so I just want to basically uh, show you what this thing does. Okay so first of all it comes with a neat little quick startup manual here. Uh, it comes with the um, charging cord um, no AC wall adapter, so you want to charge that into your laptop or some sort of a cell phone charger or whatever. So let's look at the unit itself. It's kind of a faux wood box here that looks kind of cool. It's pretty cool looking. We have this lever. This is the play and stop lever. Underneath we have the power switch. Bottom position is off. Center position is 33 and a third top position is 45 RPM. We have a little status indicator to show you that it's on. Over here we have the little uh, jack for the mini USB and then a charging status indicator as well. We have the uh, needle assembly here and uh, a little guide wheel here that pivots and then we have the drive wheels. These are like a plastic wheel with um, a rubber uh, type coating, maybe even a silica type coating on it. Over here we have a momentary push button for Bluetooth to turn the Bluetooth on and off. And then we have a volume control for the built-in speaker. I'm not going to mess with the Bluetooth function on this. Um, I just don't feel it's worth it. But uh, the, I don't know if the volume control works for Bluetooth as well. So I'm going I'm to say yes, it probably does, but who knows. Okay, so there's a little learning curve to this. So, <clears throat> two things. We're not going to put a 180 gram uh, mint pressing of uh, Dark Side of the Moon down here to play. That's not going to happen. Um, for a couple reasons, actually. Well, you know, this thing can move around. You don't want to scratch it. It doesn't have the greatest uh, cartridge in the world or stylus in the world. They do say it is a diamond stylus. I'm not too sure about that. It looks like one of those ceramic styluses that they put on the uh, Victrolas and the Crosleys and stuff to me. But um, who knows. Um, so on top here we have the little, uh, we have a little dot. It's kind of hard to see, but a little dot. And that shows you where the, tr you know, where you're going to, uh, that's your track marker, I guess, basically. So there is a learning curve to this, and I'm getting fairly good at it. Although I've put a few scratches in the album here. So anyway, uh, let's see. The, the test album is a garage sale find, and underneath it I have a spare cork mat. Um, yeah, I don't know why, really. Um, protect the album, okay. So if you just go and pick it up and put it on to play it like this, not going to happen. This is part of the learning curve. You can hear the wheels are kind of going, the little box is vibrating here. It's trying to get up and go. Not going to happen. So what I do is I take the stylus and I put it in this straight position here and then I just kind of roll it over on the record here like this. Who desire to live in peace with all other people. But it is difficult to settle or even discuss these problems. Then to shut this off, you take and you flip the handle down. So the handle up is to play. That is why this latest Soviet threat. Handle down is to turn it off. 
you can try to use the track mark or the track indicator and find the you know the, the the blank groove in the middle here and I'm somewhat successful with it um, if you want to start at the beginning of the album that's kind of a little tricky if you say just put it on like this on the edge of the album and you think it's gonna go it's not gonna go it just sits and spins its wheels um, now because I've done this quite a quite a bit I'm getting somewhat good at it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up I'm going to put the indicator even with the beginning of the album. We'll try it. Oh, it just derailed. All right. Let's try it again. So we'll center that stylus up. Now I'm going to go over on the album. I'm going to put it on kind of sideways like this. See? Now let's see if we can get it. I got close. Let's try it again. Because of its location, nope. it's attempting target. Okay. No. Nope. There we go. Since World War II, Berlin has existed as a city divided. There is West Berlin a showcase for a vigorous democracy in Germany, which has rebuilt a city from the bomb down. Okay, guys, well, it works. A um, couple things. It's $59.99 at Walmart, even. I mean, it's $59, bucks, and, and I don't know if they're cheaper on the Internet. I, I've honestly, I've always thought these were just kind of a joke, so I've never looked into them. This is my first time I've even messed with these or even cared about how much these things cost, but it's $59.99 at Wally World. Um, I don't know, me, it's not worth it. I mean, generally when I buy something to do a review on it, I keep them or give and, and give them away. Um, this one's going straight back. I mean, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm packing this sucker back up and it's going back to Wally World. So I don't know, some of you guys may dig it. Um, it is kind of a, kind of a cool novelty item, but, um, you know, beyond that, and the RAF. Yeah, whatever. It's not worth it to me. So there you go. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about it. It's the Rock Block wireless portable record player. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool as far as like somebody actually engineered this and, um, and it works. Um, actually better than I thought it would. Um, when I went into this with kind of a more open mind, I got it to work properly. At the very beginning, I'm just like, what a piece, you know, ah, screw this. And I, I did. I put a scratch, scratch the album a little bit on here. But once you get used to messing around with it and, and handling it and, and whatnot and the weight and, you know, how to set it up, um, you can get pretty good with it. And it is what it is. So there you go. All right. Uh... Yeah, in the comments, uh, you know, let me know what you think of this thing. Um, and please subscribe. I appreciate that. Uh, I really do appreciate my subscribers. We're nearing 4,000, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So thanks for watching.